So Elizabeth, um, what what is self awareness? Maybe before we actually like delve into it a bit further. Let's see. You know, it's it's become such a phrase that we're using. Be you know, be aware, be mindful, and it's really about understanding yourself and what you do and what your reactions are and how you operate in this world yeah. and and how you deal with other people so the more you can be aware of how you're i think operating but how you're being perceived how you're dealing with people how you're living in this world the better you can be that's true so it's really like knowing knowing yourself knowing what you're good at Mm-hmm. And then, but so in a business context, because you know, we want to always want to be good at everything, don't we? Um, and also, sure. on that, so many of these um, feedback sessions um, or appraisals, they always focus on like your development areas, don't they? Mm-hmm. Or like work on this. But I, I, for me, being for me being self aware is like I know what my strengths are, and I want to double down hard on them. I know what I'm. I know what I'm not good at or what I can improve on or, you know, whatever you want to, whatever word you want to use um, and get people to help me. Yeah. We're really strong on that. I think for me, that's, that's what I've been trying to work on. Yeah. I think that's really, I think that's really smart because we, as you say, you can't be good at everything. Um, yes. And I, sometimes I don't like to say weaknesses, but it's like areas where I could be better or areas where I just don't, I'm just not that good at that. No matter how hard I try, I'm not going to be very good at X, Y, Z. And so how can I get someone to either A, do it, delegate it, and or um, someone to really teach me how to do it? Um, And then how is that perception too and that awareness too is how are you perceiving, I think, because we we know how we operate, um, but I know people that can be – you know, either, you know, it's maybe say someone's quite aggressive and doesn't realize they're quite aggressive, but everybody in the room thinks they're very aggressive. So um, to really be aware of how you're being perceived and, and adjust if that's not working for you. Yeah, it's hard. I've been in, I've been in meetings. I'm sure you have too. Uh, I was with a colleague and we came out and he's like, man, that was like the best meeting ever. And I was sitting there. I was like a, yeah, he was like senior to me. I was like listening and whatever, taking notes. And I remember thinking, damn, that was awful. Like you can kind of, sometimes you can, you can read like, well, I, do, I, I feel like I can do this well, but maybe I don't. But I can feel like I can read people's like reactions or motions or body language. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes you get these little cues that you can sense that, either, you know, they're, like, they're not, they're not reacting positively to you or something you've said or yeah, the way yeah. you, you know? Uh, others are clueless <laughs> yeah no it, it's true and I think that's what makes you good at your job because you know I think prior to pandemic we did more phone than video yes right and you had to be really in tune of you know aware of how your voice was coming across the energy of their voice and what was going on and now as you say because we couldn't and we were we in person we could see those be aware of when someone's not jiving with what we're saying and they're doing something, maybe they're really crossing their arms or whatnot, or you're crossing your arms and you don't realize because that's being perceived otherwise. But um, to to have this video and in person and really be in tune of how you're coming across and how the other person is coming across as well. It's true. It's funny. You are on the phone. I used to, loads on the phone and you never know whether someone was like being like yeah you know not listening to you just but whatever and then yeah <laughs> you know oh um, you, you can tell can you i could always tell i just remember saying to someone when i was recruiting i was like am i on i'm on speaker aren't uh, i <laughs> or like yeah, who else is listening to the phone call oh my or, mom my dad yeah, my sister, or you my could brother. hear the tick 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 of the keyboard <laughs> yeah but now though i see that a lot on this video and i'm i've got to have my hands up sometimes i'm uh, i'm a culprit of this um but like we're speaking now and you can kind of see now if i'm looking away and tapping my keys exactly exactly it's, it's really hard to be like super present on a video with so many distractions on the other screens yeah 
like really hard. So I'm work my I'm I'm working hard on my self awareness, and that that like um, you know fully with you on, on a call is the thing that I've uh, I found that I really need to work on over this last year. Yeah, no, it's funny because like you said, it's like really turning on that awareness and focus and mindfulness of, you know, how it's also, I think this is important too, of the perception of the self-awareness too, is wanting to make, wanting to make a good impression in the world and your job and, and recruiting or whatever it is you're doing. And how are you, how are you presenting yourself? Yes. Yeah. How can, can I, how can I develop it? Like, is it something I'm just born with or not as the case may be for me? Uh, or are there things that I can like practice a little bit? Oh yeah. I think, well, everyone has some awareness, but it is a practice, right? Yeah. So yeah. I think, I think one thing, if you want to develop self-awareness is perhaps to, um, ask a few people you trust how you're being perceived. Yeah. yeah. You know, in the workspace, some, so, you know, I was in that meeting. Um, how did I do? And, and let them give you some feedback. Um, you know, maybe, maybe you always, uh, scribble with your pen or touch your shoulder or you have your hand on something. And so if, so if someone tells you what you're doing, you always do this, then you can be mindful and say, okay, that's not something I want to do. So I'm going to be aware. Um, and then I think also to um, do a little bit of personal self-evaluation and think about, you know, what what gets you really excited, what really gets you angry or triggers you, yeah. and and sort of do, you know, kind of understand yourself a little better. Like this, I really, it's it's about sort of knowing your personal values. I was working with someone yesterday. And they said, what is that? And I said, well, it's really drives who you are both personally and professionally. So a few yeah, of the top yeah. ones for this person were, you know, truth, integrity, um, and intellect. And when those, vi when those values are being violated, he's really triggered and in personally or professionally, but understanding that those are things, no matter what you do, um, kind of drive who you are so to really be mindful of okay that this is why I'm reacting like that yeah. either positively or negatively and that part of that is building that self-awareness love that I love that one thing I've been doing just wanted to share to stop me fidgeting with the mouse and checking my emails mm -hmm. when I'm on a video is I hold um I hold the uh, case to my Bluetooth headphones <gasps> Oh, good so, strategy. Yeah, because I'm a little fidgety. Like, just generally, that's my net, kind of like my nature. And so if I don't have this in my hand, my hands wander to the mouse. Ah, <laughs> and then I, can, I like so that I, strategy. I hold my thing, and then, then I can't have to put it down to do anything. And then it already triggers me that like, I'll hold on a second. Like, See, I, I love that because it's like you're aware that you're going to do that. And so that's a strategy that you implemented. And then the other thing, and I'm sure you've done this too, is you've tried to make it a habit because maybe, maybe you were holding your pen and maybe that didn't work. So now you you're holding, I guess like I'm holding a pad, you're holding something else. So I yeah. think it, you're trying to find it's developing habits and testing it to find yeah. out what would work for that particular strategy. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The pen I found, I was end up uh, like doodling. Yeah, of course. And, right. when I'm, and when I'm looking at you, you know, I'm going to be like doodling. <laughs> <laughs> so this, I can't do anything else with, but like twizzle it in my hand, you know, and then I'm, I'm like much more present. So that's been a little thing I've developed over, <laughs> over lockdown. I love it. Well, you know what I love? It's sort of like you tested the pen, it didn't work. And now you found the box, it did work. And so, <laughs> and maybe, maybe in a, a month or so it won't work and you'll find something else. Yeah. But, but I think it's really about experimentation and, and also mindfulness and self-awareness. You know that it, it sort of hands will fidget. So, okay. And once you put that in, I always say, once you put that in your mind, you're like, okay, I'm trying not to do this. Then that's how it happens. 
Yes, definitely. Definitely. I love that. The gift of self-awareness, I tell you. But it's great. Like, I think, as you said, you can work on it, develop mm -hmm. on it, seek feedback, seek help. Um, and yeah, it works. It works wonders in business. You'll end up better. I think you end up building better quality relationships with people and it works in all aspects of life. So. Absolutely.